Hello, my name is Dr. Alan Spiegel. I'm a neurologist practicing in Florida for the past 35 years and treating patients with hyperbaric medicine for the past 20 years. Among the many medical conditions we treat in our facility is traumatic brain injury. Traumatic brain injury is similar in many respects to a stroke in that there's some disruption of blood supply, meaning a lack of blood perfusion in part of the brain which causes swelling, inflammation, which causes decreased blood perfusion to the additional parts of the brain that were not concussed. One of my most memorable cases was an unfortunate gentleman who was uh, injured in Iraq with an IED blast that unfortunately uh, blew the front third of his brain out. Uh, fortunately, he, he survived. Uh, he was under the VA's care for five solid years. Uh, they did everything they could to get him better. They worked hard at trying to improve his ability to function. But unfortunately, after five solid years, he still could not move his left arm and leg, nor speak more than a handful of words. I was asked to evaluate him, which we did, and uh, we treated him. And to make a long story short, after treatment with some ad physical therapy, his ability to stand, walk, speak, dramatically improved. When he came to us in a wheelchair, with unable to move one whole side of the body, able to get up and walk without any assistance at all, even get on his horse and ride off. We have videos of that, which is outstanding. Uh, you can, he's our miracle. He is our miracle patient. And every day when we see patients such as him, it, in, it enlightens me, my office, my staff, with the findings that hyperbaric therapy is a miracle type treatment that needs to be considered each and every time you have either a minor brain injury or one that's more severe. I've had patients with minor brain injuries, could we call closed head injuries. Uh, an example, uh, last week I saw uh, a young boy who uh, was playing baseball and got hit in the head with a baseball. I've had, prior to that, uh, uh, high school students on a football team that got concussed, brain hit, you know, hit, hit in the, in, in the uh, act of playing football, knocked unconscious, and with that came uh, confusion, uh, headaches, brain fog, inability to sleep, nausea, you know, all these things that are typical for concussion and post-concussion syndrome. And each of these young men, as well as the military gentleman I mentioned earlier, responded outstandingly well to hyperbaric oxygen therapy because hyperbaric oxygen therapy reduces swelling and inflammation, improves the, uh, the uh, circulation to parts of the brain that were damaged with the concussion, and the patients who have improved do not have to come back for further treatments. That is some of the positive things I can tell you about hyperbaric therapy is that our successes are people we never see again. And the value that you get from a simple treatment with either a few sessions for minor head injury or a major uh, head injury which requires a lot more, you cannot get from any other modality in the field of medicine. So when you're told that there's nothing else we can do for you, you've been through physical therapy, uh, chiropractic therapy, uh, all sorts of other uh, types of treatments, and you still have remnant problems that are not getting better, and you're told by your clinician that, look, this is the way it's gonna be, or it'll be better in two, three years, don't worry about it, which, by the way, that usually doesn't happen. Don't negate the thought that hyperbaric therapy could make a difference, because it will. We, we find that hyperbaric oxygen therapy is the fertilizer you put on the, on the ground to make your grass grow. It's the fertilizer that makes your brain cells grow. And I want you to consider hyperbaric therapy not the last option for treatment, but actually the first. Why waste all that time doing things that just won't work? Hyperic therapy will make you better.